It's definitely very scary. I mean, we use Uber a lot. It's really upsetting to see this. Young women in Newark, Delaware are feeling uneasy using rideshare after two sexual assaults in the last two days. Police say in one case, the driver wasn't even a rideshare driver. It had been ordered by someone else. Uh, she left her residence, went out to a vehicle thinking it was the rideshare, got into that vehicle. Police say the driver then had sexual contact with the 21 year old victim. That was early Sunday. Then early Halloween morning, they say another 21 year old woman was sexually assaulted by her rideshare driver. Police say as they were heading to her destination, the driver stopped, started to assault the victim, then dropped her off. The message we're trying to push to, to people when they're using a rideshare, when the vehicle pulls up or you make contact with the driver, the first thing you do is ask them, who are they there to pick up? Make sure that they know your name. Police say be sure to check the make, model, and color of the rideshare vehicle, as well as the license plate number. Vehicle always. I feel like we should probably start checking license plates, but we don't really do that that much. Police say sit in the back seat on the passenger side so you can see your driver and avoid taking a rideshare alone if you can. Honestly, would be too scared to, so I always make sure I'm with my friends when I do that. And if something seems sketchy, we just usually just walk away. This University of Delaware grad student says she rarely uses rideshare for fear something could happen. The driver, you don't know the driver at all. So that's that fact by itself kind of scares me. It's horrible that this is happening. It's scary that it could happen to me too. Police say another good tip is to call or FaceTime a friend, especially if you're in a rideshare alone. That way someone else will know if something's wrong. And it also serves as a good deterrent to a would-be attacker. Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News.